We're going mudding in the golf cart. Back to my redneck roots. Joining us on another journey. Today, we're in Mexico. Mexico. The Yucatan. So we're on our way to Chiquila, and we're gonna catch a ferry there to an island called Holbosch. I hope I'm saying that right. It's an island that they do not allow cars on, so you can drive around golf carts or rent a bicycle. We are now officially in Mexico. <laughs> Got street dogs. School kids just getting out of school. In uniform. Yeah. Tuk tuks. Ciao, puppy. Oh, he's used to it. And we're somewhere in between Cancun and Holbox. At sundown, come down. Think about where we are. It's a long way, way up to everything. So we made it to Hobosh. It's been raining here, obviously, for quite a while. Everything is flooded. We can't make it to our Airbnb. We uh, stopped at this restaurant, and we're hoping that this uh, our waiter's wife is gonna pick us up on a golf cart and get us to our actual uh, Airbnb for the night. April's getting ate up by mosquitoes. She's freaked out. <laughs> So it's the rainy season. Yeah. It's been raining nice. for what? Three days? Three days. Yeah. We're on uh what's your what's your name my friend? My name is Aurelio. 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 And so we're on his uh, taxi trying to get to it's a golf cart taxi. That's all they use on this island is golf carts and uh, mopeds. We're trying to make it to our Airbnb. It's really Deep. This is Casa Mundo. That's it? Yeah, pretty much. Maybe make a wonder. Yeah, this is as far as we could walk. We, we couldn't make sure. it. This is a um, uh, block. Yeah, but it only goes halfway. It yeah. doesn't go all the way. Well, we finally got to our Airbnb. Getting here was kind of a fiasco. But we found this great little Airbnb on Hobosh. For $60 a night. You can't beat that. It is supposed to have air condition and we can't seem to find it. It is like 500 degrees in here and of course we can't open the windows because of the mosquitoes. Thank goodness we did finally find an air condition. We're not going to die of heat exhaustion. It's actually a really really nice place minus the lakefront property out front of course that was very difficult to get to. Check this out. This is our Airbnb. Looks like we have riverfront property. This whole island is completely flooded. I'm gonna have to see if I can cross this to go find some coffee. April brought these wristbands from Mosquitoes before we had left. And yeah, they don't work at all. Definitely an adventure. Too 
Yeah. This is, are, this is Mocho Reños? Mocho Leños. Mocho Leños. Okay. And this is um, ch chiriquiles. Fried tortillas over eggs. Okay. Corn tortilla chips with chicken topped with red or green sauce. Oh, sorry, no eggs on it. It's corn tortilla oh. chips with chicken topped with the red sauce is what she got, so. Oh, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Travel tip for you, if you're coming to Holbosch, I would highly suggest bringing lots of bug spray with you. I can't seem to find any at the stores to buy. And we bought this little bracelet thing, but it doesn't work. I think the pretty neat thing about uh, Holbosch is in the off season, I mean, yeah, it's muddy and it's wet and there's mosquitoes everywhere. But honestly, you get that true Mexican feeling of being in a small little village. Even though it is, so? well, it's still pretty touristy, but it's still pretty cool. Mosquitoes are that way, so we don't want to go that way. Yeah, we better not go that way. I've had enough of those. <laughs> no More mosquitoes than enough. at the beach. It's really nice at the beach. Yeah. Our river uh, Airbnb, riverfront property. <laughs> not so nice. <laughs> the Airbnb is nice. It's just not the riverfront property. Say hey to YouTube. Hi, hey, y'all. Hey, we're following you. <laughs> it's, it's pretty easy to run into each other over and over again on this island. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, it's a small island. Yeah. Place. Yes, it is. You're at the beach, sweating to death, but you're not getting eaten by mosquitoes. What are you thinking about Holbosch? I like it. I like it better. This soothes my soul. The beach is my happy place. One of them, but probably the top. Top happy place. It's nice. It's raw. It's definitely been challenging, but I'm glad we came. Yeah. That's saying a lot for me to say that. <laughs> you should have seen her last night. She'd have killed me if I actually was filming. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> the one time you were filming, when we got the beers, I was gonna jump in, but I just, too mentally and emotionally and physically yeah. drained. Last night was Hit a wall. raw. Hit a wall and had to push through it. Had to shove my way through the wall. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell you American because of your action, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. You like football as well? 
I uh, went to a football game in Bosnia. That was fun. <clears throat> Bosnia? Yeah. Yes. Wow. That was wild. Really? Yeah, those fans are crazy. I guess in my mind, I still think I'm a Floridian, so I should just slide right into this, right? With the mosquitoes and the, the humidity, but no, not so much. I didn't think I would be sweating so much. I mean, we're Floridians, and this is Yeah, insane. but we've lived in Utah for so long. I know, but like, do you just, does your body just dry up? And, and so then it's like, ah, it has to sweat. I, I haven't sweated like this. Even going back home to Florida, I always go back home in the winter. With you all night in the body that ain't mine, thinking I am gonna burst you and I are falling behind and I'm ready to go get out while we hold. Now take my advice. It's just crazy. Should be some taxis down this way. We're going mudding in the golf cart. Back to my redneck roots. <laughs> no, this is what this is. We literally used to do this, but much, much. <laughs> Here's the swamp. What's the name of the, the two companies? It says Holbosch Express and then Nueve Hermanos. Yeah, so those are the two uh, companies. It costs uh, 300 pesos. Bring the pesos because they charge you extra if you use a credit card. And if you bring cash, they'll really rip you off. U.S. dollar cash. U.S. dollar cash. We parked the car over at Orange Parking. It cost 100 pesos. It is directly across the street from the ferry. It's just a quick 300, 400 foot walk. Super easy. We want to thank you for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank you for living live.